Appreciate it. Okay. So what's the Thank GOP you. playbook to stop this uh, confirmation? Are they prepared to block the first Latino and fourth woman to be nominated to the court? Time to bring back our political panel tonight. Bill Press, what is the play tonight, you think, uh, for conservatives to fight back on this? Where are they going to come from? Uh, I think the play, we've already seen a little bit of it tonight, is going to be there's a cottage industry in Washington, Ed, that's already been gearing up to oppose this. Why? So they can raise money, stir up the base. That's what they'll do. They know they can't win this. They'll just use it uh, as an attempt to, to satisfy the base. We're fighting for you, extreme right-wingers, even though uh, we can't uh, stop this nomination. And, and Mike Allen, I want to ask you about John Kyle uh, talking about the, the nominee. While Sam Alito was first to nominate on October 31st, 2005, the minority was afforded 93 days before he received a confirmation vote. I would expect the Senate Democrats will afford the minority the same courtesy. What's your take on that, Mike? They're playing for time, Ed. They're, they're leaving themselves options. They're going to uh, see if there's anything in this record that they don't know about. But if there are not unknown unknowns out there, and the White House went through this record very carefully, and the few sort of stray cats and dogs quotes are sort of the universe of what's available to opponents, uh, Republicans uh, think that this is going to be done fairly quickly. Uh, there's no percentage for Senate Republicans to drag it out. But they are okay. keeping their powder dry today. They are going to see if there is anything. I'm told specifically they're going to look at some possible Second Amendment issues to push, but there's not a lot. Uh, as you know, there's no sure. clear abortion cases even. You, you know, Tom Tancredo, if there's no red flag out there, if there's no uh, glaring issue, wouldn't it be political suicide to challenge a Hispanic woman, which also is part of the fastest growing demographic politically in this country? What would be your strategy to make sure that she yeah. doesn't get on the court? If, in fact, there were nothing to challenge her on, I would suggest that they don't challenge her on anything. Unfortunately for her, and fortunately for us, there are plenty of things that, that we've even talked about here already that you keep ignoring. I'm telling you, she appears to be a racist. She said things wow. that are racist in any other context. That's exactly how we would portray it. And there's no one that would get on the Supreme Court saying a thing like that except for a Hispanic woman, and you're going to say, it doesn't matter. Well. Man, where are you coming from? How can you possibly say that? Bill Press is she protected? I don't know. It's just amazing Bill to Press, me. There's, Bill, plenty gotta, of there's plenty of stuff. Okay, plenty Bill, of stuff. i got to ask you, is she going to get special protection uh, in the public arena because she's a woman and Hispanic? What about that? No, she's not going to get any special protection. She's going to be uh, examined. Oh, she's going to be examined as a candidate for the Supreme Court, Ed. And I think one thing we got to lay on the table, which Tom seems to ignore, is right. All the years as a district attorney, as a corporate attorney, as a trial judge, and then as an appellate court judge, she brings to the court. Listen to this: more judicial experience than any member of the court now sitting on the Supreme Court had when they were nominated. I mean, she's extremely well you can qualified. Still be a racist That's and, and have all of those That's things in your one. background. Mike you Allen, you could be a racist and have all that stuff in your background. All right, Mike Allen, as a journalist, you know, would one you does see not if she's a racist? The other. Uh, Mike Allen, as a journalist, quickly, would you check out and see if she had some racist comments? No. Okay, that pretty much says it. Gentlemen, good to have you. You with won't us do today. it. You won't check it out. There, no. there you go. They won't she's even not check it out. a racist. She's not a racist, Tom. Gentlemen, oh, we'll have you back. Check Thanks it out. so much. Right. That's Thanks, the Ed, Ed Show. Thanks, Ed. Uh, you bet. I'm Ed Schultz. For more information on...